welcome to the simple life where you get new videos every week sometimes every day and in this video i want to break down protective styles so we use my channel as a time machine i go back in time the videos that i filmed like six years ago to show you examples because we have all types of learners we have visual learners and some people prefer talking head videos but let's give a little bit for everybody now most of the time when you hear things about extensions you hear things telling you that weaves and extensions are damaging and bad for the hair they cause breakage and all of these other things now there is a double-edged sword because on one side of the spectrum that is very true and on the other side of the spectrum that is not true at all and on the side of the spectrum where that is true it is when the hair is not properly prepared but let's get into some reviews as we go the dermatologist was impressed with the outcome I also use your rose water too, which is very refreshing. I was diagnosed with CCCC, but now my scalp has been healed. Also, I want to schedule another conference call. Please send me the link to do so. Thanks. This is one of my clients. So I just want to give you guys a little social proof as I move through this. So, you know, I'm not just talking out the side of my neck. I get results. Okay so now um this is one of my clients from years and years back who suffered from traction alopecia right because of some of her practices now right now this is not a normal comedogenic edge control this is an edge control specifically formulated for the scalp i will leave a couple of recommendations for edge controls like this but i need you to understand that even though they are formulated not to clog the pores and the follicles it is imperative that you remove the edge control nightly before bed and you're not just packing it on every day right but you get more information like that in depth over on my website or within the seven day hair growth challenge i have so much information here on my channel on my website and in the challenge and this is the shea bay oil and batter that i always recommend if you're doing protective styles now shea bay does not go on the scalp because it will cause inflammation because it does not go on the scalp but the oil mixture that I teach in the ebook listed in the link below right in the description box below teaches you how to make it uh, at low concentration and as you can see I'm using a very small amount the reason that I am using something like Shea Bay to reinforce her hair shaft is because in the past she has always suffered from hair shaft disorders and even though I was putting this this weave in I know my baby will leave this weave in until it jumps out on its own because the extensions that I was taking out at the beginning of the video have been in since the last time she was my model because at this point I have been retired from the hair industry but here on the screen is what you can clearly see as a hair shaft disorder the very first one number a number a lord a is a healthy hair shaft but you can see that the rest are are what represents different hair shaft disorders and she had two of these hair shaft disorders at one time one of them you can see the one that is figure F is what you guys have named a uh, single strand knots and one of the main reasons why this hair shaft disorder is developed is because the hair is never properly prepared before protective styles here are a couple other photos of hair shaft disorders right i'm going to show you the illustration of one and then i'm actually going to show you them under an electron microscope so you can understand the importance of what i'm saying and that the things that i'm saying are not uh being pulled out of my butt you can take screenshots and go look up everything that i am saying for yourself but this is how some of those hair shaft disorders look under an electron microscope and these are different hair shaft disorders that have been found to be present with women uh, who have patterns that 
exist in the team natural community like air drying the hair or when you are doing a protective style of any kind where the hair needs to be braided you're so in fear of the blow dryer that you cause all of these other hair shaft disorders right by letting your hair air dry right or braiding the hair wet and different things like that you end up weakening the hair shaft because there are three bonds that hold your hair shaft together the hydrogen bond the salt bond and the disulfide bond and the hydrogen bond is the temporary bond that's broken by water so if you are braiding your hair wet you and your hair is wet the all three of the bonds that are holding your hair together are not locked in the bonds are broken the hydrogen bond is broken by water so by you braiding your hair wet you are not having a protective style in any way shape or form right here on the screen again is one of the beauties from inside my seven day hair growth challenge all right you can see that pictures do not lie again as i talk i am going to be giving you guys you know just a couple of receipts that <laughs> just showing you that my methods work right because so many times i make videos and it gets lost things get lost in translation you know uh, uh a lot of people make videos about my content and then they send their little grandkids over here to leave comments and stuff and things get lost in translation and anger and emotion but we're not doing any of that you guys can read it for yourself here is another review from somebody within the seven day challenge i know that's up on the screen fast so take some screenshots and then you can read through it on your own but these are words from uh and reviews from people within the seven day challenge and results that people have gotten on their own the main objective here for her was for me to give her a really, really good scalp detox. She got a really good scalp conditioning treatment. And then I gave her a treatment for a person who I know is going to leave the weave in a little bit longer than she's supposed to. And the last thing I want to do is pack it with oil because oil is the bacteria, the bacteria that lives on the scalp. So naturally, it's its favorite food. So the last thing I want to do is put oil on her scalp. Actually, it was a product that I used. I don't know. I'll try to find it and I'll leave it in the description box below. Give me time. Um, it'll be there hopefully by the time this video goes live. If not, then just give me a minute. But it is a product that slows down sebum production. And that is the product that I did put on her scalp. But it is not oil based. It's almost like... Um, like rose water right but it wasn't just rose water so i'll leave it in the description box um if i can find it uh but outside of that but because at this point in time i didn't have uh the apothecary but outside of that at this present time i would use rose water so i really really recommend that you use rose water cleanse the scalp with rose water and this is something that you also do when your hair extensions are in right that and she was directed to do that just because your hair is in a weave does not mean that your scalp does not need to be tended to so yes she has a hairnet on but this is not one of those really really tough hairnets this is a hairnet that she can still get into right and she can still rub on her scalp without it causing friction or tension right so it's something that you will have to try to understand and uh i'll show you guys in a second what i mean by that but um now i am just anchoring this closure on now it's really important that i anchor the closure on in a way that is going to fit the curvature of her head and yes she was holding it down because teamwork it will always make the dream work okay and so i am doing it this way because she does have a slight widow's peak um lace closures uh were my favorite i it's not that I didn't like lace frontals, but it was just a lot of maintenance for my clients. And most people like the way that um, lace closures look. They like the way that lace frontals look, but they are not really truly invested into the amount of maintenance that they are going to have with a lace frontal. So I found that lace closures were just as good. They come out just as natural and it was a lot easier for my clients to keep up with it, right? 
So now at this point, we are going ahead and putting these bundles in. Now the way that I put the bundles in, I will always, uh, at least around the hairline. Uh, so the weft under the braids, so that way if the wind blows, you don't see braids and things like that. Now here over on the screen, uh, what you guys have been seeing is a couple of my um, guru members they're so sweet within the group and if you guys um notice that my videos are changing or like kind of sort of all over the place they're not all over the place of course i have um a steady track that i want to follow for you guys right because everybody's not able to afford the seven day challenge even though it is extremely affordable right you can pay the hundred dollars to start or you can sign up for sizzle when you add the seven day challenge to your cart you can just go ahead to check out and go to add in the car information but instead of adding a car information keep scrolling up and look for that button that says sizzle click on that it'll send you to the sizzle profile and you can start the seven day challenge for as low as 25 dollars. okay so listen but no pressure all right no pressure here is another review from a doctor that is in um, my seven day challenge so i just listen i just want you to understand what i mean okay anyway so we are sewing this in and i'm giving her hair a chance to rest now when when most people um are on a healthy hair journey when I was standing behind the chair, if my client had a really severe hair shaft disorder that needed to be healed, they would be in a protective style. And my favorite protective style in a salon was hair extensions and, or weave. And it just depends on what their lifestyle was, the type of weave that they got. They would get uh, most of the time like severe hair shaft disorders. It was this type of extensions with uh not oh not extensions weaves and there is a difference between weaves and extensions a lot of people would disagree but there is a difference and this in my opinion is not extensions this is a weave when you have extensions you are extending hair you already have on your head but let's get into this good morning San. i want to thank you so much for our zoom meeting in december I am so excited to share our update with you. It's been about 30 days of taking the Bulldog Root and Butterfly Pea Tincture. The first picture is from the beginning of December. We hadn't started taking it yet and the second attached picture is from today, this morning. You are truly appreciated. I currently have the entire family, including my 81-year-old grandmother, taking these herbs. I'll be placing an order for a few bottles this week. Thank you. Listen, you guys, you do not have to take my word for anything ever. I tell you guys what I know because even though I'm not behind the chair anymore, I did not fall out of love with hair. I feel, I'm just being honest, I feel out of love with uh, certain people with people like that interaction you know like after I'm a I'm an empath and after 15 years in the industry I was completely depleted right of my energy at that state but I still love the hair industry and I still love you guys so much and I really want to just transform the way that I do hair instead of using my hands I use my mind and so this is why I really really recommend this tincture to anybody who is is dealing with severe bonding without telling too much of her business she was she is a mother obviously and her daughter she was doing her daughter's hair and she was just trying things you know you don't want to do the wrong thing with your daughter's hair so she was trying a whole bunch of different team natural styles different oils different butters grease and all of these different things on her daughter's scalp and before she knew it her daughter started getting scalp inflammation so we talked about it i told her some things to do to reset her daughter's hair growth cycle you know to detox her daughter's scalp and all of these different things and new patterns and routines for her daughter to have and then all she did was ingest the Bodoc Blue Tincture that is it mind you none of my products in the apothecary go on the scalp except for my rose water none of my products go on the scalp so the 
burdock blue tincture is something that you drink in your water like you could take a couple of drops of it and put it in a water bottle leave me um some comments below and let me know if you want me to give you a video on exactly how to um, ingest it you can also put it in your oatmeal you could put it in smoothies but the easiest way to ingest it is to just take a couple of drops of it and put it in your water you literally can't even taste it unless you put half the bottle in there which is not recommended there are directions on the bottle you will literally not taste anything it's just no like drinking your water like normal so the very first cup of water you drink in the morning can have your Bordock blue tincture in it so again if you are a person who is dealing with uh, balding severe inflammation redness or anything like that in the scalp I really recommend you giving the Bordock blue tincture a try and then once you do try it I really really in listen listen to me trust me do me a favor the very first day you take it take a picture of your scalp right take a picture of your scalp the very first day that you take it before you take it right before you take it and then every single day after that just keep taking pictures of your scalp and make sure you are not putting oils and butters on your scalp this buttock blue tincture will not work in conjunction with you oiling and greasing the scalp it will not because it'll be working against each other if you want to know more about the science of how this tincture works then check the link in the pinned comment and in the description box below because I have a really really detailed video on what is going on right and what it is actually doing because most of the time when you are dealing with balding and thinning yes it could be from tension it could be from greasing the scalp it could be from an outside source but in conjunction with that it can also be a buildup of the liver and the kidneys right and if your body is not if your scalp is not able to get the right form of oxygen from your blood because your blood is dirty then it's not going to work and this tincture cleanses your blood and also your hair skin and nails the biotin that you need to produce hair skin and nails is produced within your gut but if the liver is all backed up and and messed up and gooky and nasty then guess what your skin becomes your body's second liver and then you start releasing all of those toxins through the scalp, which is why you have the intense burning and itching and all of those different things. And so once you cleanse the liver properly, right, then your body is able to do what it needs to do naturally. Your skin is no longer your body's second liver and your skin can just do what it's supposed to do, which is have a healthy sebum production and also have a healthy hair growth cycle, right? Just test it out. I've already given you guys some proof. So just test it out and see what you think. All right. Again, this is within the seven day hair growth challenge where some people are really really seeing results just changing their routine changing the way that they're doing the hair they're seeing different forms of like their scalp and their follicles get their hair getting thicker throughout the scalp throughout their partings spots that they saw bald spots before or thinning in the past they're starting to see it begins to thicken up because i'm not teaching nothing like woo woo crazy technique no i have literally taken everything that made me get to the point of my career where i would be booked for four to five months in advance and i've taken it and put it into a challenge and into a group where everybody could just really really reset their hair growth cycles and really learn their body with factual information and not random information that people are pulling out of their butt because let's be real professional cosmetologists people who specialize in hair have not been in charge of the hair industry for a very long time every time you turn around there's a new singer a new rapper a new actor making a hair product line people who have never cared about hair who have never put any time into hair at all are making hair care lines and the thing that is confusing to most people over the years the waters have been so muddied 
muddled that people don't know the difference between products to treat weaves or different uh, routines and patterns to treat hair extensions and doing your real hair. A lot of people are not going to want to hear this, but I have this conversation with professional cosmetologists who think like me all the time. And the the way that people do their hair on social media is the way that we treat weaves in the hair salon. Like the the way that I'm doing this, her hair extensions, I would never do her actual hair like this. Like right now, I'm just taking a bunch of product and I'm just put, putting a bunch of product in there and I'm just combing it through. And I'm just messing with it with my hands because I wonder I'm creating an illusion, but the hair is no longer attached to a follicle. So I can do that. The way that most women treat their naturally curly hair is the way that professional cosmetologists treat hair extensions, right? The like the bagging method, for example. I'm gonna show you guys an example really, really soon. The my favorite, favorite, one of my favorite freaking videos, right? Uh, videos uh, yeah one of my favorite f videos that I did of myself was uh, renewing and refreshing old hair extensions and it's with the silicone mix conditioner it is literally my favorite conditioner baby you do the back and method on that the conditioner snap back so fast but like look at the way that I'm doing her hair extensions and think about the way that all of y'all favorite team natural videos look that is how y'all do hair and again the way that i'm doing these hair extensions i would never do her real hair like that speaking of hair extensions this the company that's in the lower uh left hand corner i'm not telling y'all to go buy stuff from them okay this video is about five years old uh this is my friend's studio i wasn't doing hair anymore I was retired but I would still get brand deals from certain companies as y'all can see this was shortly after my big chop so I didn't have enough hair to do brand deals with so I would have um, certain models that were favorite clients of mine come in and do it right so that's what's going on here but let me give a shout out to the gurus okay the gurus are i think that is the name that i'm going to give everybody in the seven day challenge but i'm not sure so don't quote me on it but let's go with the gurus for now this is the this is oh my god can i talk this is some of our content some of the pictures when i say these women are doing the work that is what i mean and it is a lot i do a lot and it I want to thank you guys for being patient with me because I'm not always able to get to the comments like the second that they're answered. I mean, the second that they're answered, Lord, the second that you guys leave a comment. But I just want to say I am so happy that you guys are able to hold each other up. I went back in there today to answer comments and most of the questions was already answered. So I'm just so proud of you guys. And I just want you guys to to know that it is not going to be easy to reset messed up cycles right from the past you don't just have to wear your hair straight there are so many different options there are so many easy styles that you can wear your hair in and as you can see the women in this challenge have mop and we're not test dummies in the challenge they've learned to use a mannequin we have mannequins and we name them my mannequin's name is Shalissa okay everybody's mannequin has a different name so these are the things that i want you guys to know so at this point as you can see i am done with her hair she was literally one of my favorite favorite clients i did her hair for years but she went through something and all of her hair broke off and we were in the process of renewing it even though it looked like it really needed a lot of work you guys should have seen it a while back all right but again i was retired so i wasn't able to like keep up with it boo i hope that if you're seeing this i hope you're doing amazing um her spirit is so radiant and beautiful you can almost like feel it now through the screen but yeah this was the um 
type of install that I would do on her because she had a widow's peak. But in the last install, um, she had a side part. So I always wanted to switch it up for her. And as you can see, she does not have like a heavy edge control on. It was more like, a, even though it boot clear, it was more so like a putty, right? And as you can see, it was only along her hairline. So I can mold it to be ready for this, right? But there's never or was never any oils, butters, any edge controls, anything in her scalp. The only thing that is on her hair shaft is Shea Bay, which is making sure that her hair stays strong. And, you know, closures were not really my thing, even though I was good at it. It's something that my clients would do if they needed to put their hair up for a minute or it was a part of our yearly pattern because in the seven day challenge you also learn that your hair needs a pattern and a routine like for me I am in the routine of my pattern where I do protective styling so right now my hair is in extensions right and I have a certain routine and a certain pattern and I don't leave my weaves in any longer in three weeks but that's just for me for my own pattern for my scalp right for my hair follicle right for my hair shaft for my body so this is why learning your scalp's profile is so important it's so pivotal and it's something that i teach deeply again congratulations to everybody in the seven day challenge just getting the work done i am so proud of you guys and congratulations to everybody who isn't a part of the seven day challenge but you sit here and you binge watch my content i see you too because it's a lot of y'all that are in the seven day challenge and we together i don't like the movie the color purple but me and you shall never part ain't no ocean or sea all right so subscribe and like me Oh, 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 oh